Um, whoa, 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 whoa. So it's not that early, but it's also not that late. 9.30. I say this a lot, I have to draw today, but I do. I pretty much have to draw every day of my life, which is, um, which is uh, not a complaint because I'm pretty sure I tried to set my life up to where all I ever really had to do was draw. Here and hang out with this dude. This dude. What are we doing this morning? What up? What's up, dog? You fucking walking? No, it's fucking took the traffic. What are you doing? Rolling up. What are you rolling up? I got uh, the Cinderella. Green crack. Green crack? Yeah. Dude, I know my weed. I'm a connoisseur. I don't even need to look at the bottom. I know. You looked at the bottom. Stop showing I didn't look at the bottom. I could. These weeds I know so well. A lot of lucky charms left. I know, because you made me buy it. I might cop it. I'll be reselling a little bit, because I do like it. It's like my good morning blunt. Like, I smoked a whole blunt of it Ooh. this morning. My fucking bad morning blunt. Taylor Swift is back at it. I just think it's so weird there's an ad. But it's like Taylor Swift delivery. It's like a partnership. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, another trip to Ikea. I've been to the weed store and Ikea more times in the past month than I ever have in my life. Then we get lunch or we could eat in Ikea. I always We're throw not, it out there. We're not eating in Ikea. Yeah. Why don't you just buy yourself a fucking 600 count of Swedish meatballs? Right yeah. I just like it there, it's so nice. And then, it's like a fucking drinks. cafeteria. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna fit in well at a FEMA camp, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, it's not that bad here. I mean, they got these little drinks. It's awesome. You gotta make sure you get there early because the chocolate milks run out. You gotta get like four. Biological warfare outside really isn't that bad when you're in here. What's up, Ma? I'm not gonna say Take shit about your driving to today. I'm not Avenue. saying nothing. <laughs> you say every I'm day. I'm not saying a word. Might need to get a blindfold, but I'm not saying a word. I like when you do a subliminity. Like you just ask a quick. Like, is are you feeling all right? Yeah. Because you're just in the right lane I at found, 40 miles an I hour. New, all right? I found a new way to discuss and bring it up to you. You know, it's, it's like one of those workshops where like, yeah. it's how it's how you convey the information. <laughs> Huh. Gonna have to boost these motherfuckers. You need to boost that fucking gas pedal. Oh, we there it is. You <laughs> 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 stop. Oh, shit, no. I can't stop. Well, I just saw us get passed by a fucking elderly lady who gave you the finger, so I was just kind of wondering what happened. You must have had to stop the thing. And she's on the phone. Oh, what's up, my G? Shut up, bros. So, uh, what dates do you need? Well, so I fly in that day, that's, that's what, Sunday? Yeah. I figure I'd hang out for a couple of days or something if that's cool, or a day. Yeah, no, just tell me what you need, bro. Fucking um, so fucking bullshit I had to deal with yesterday. No, what happened? She was roused, then I find out that she was fucking fake. I uh, found the guy, call him, I fucking apologized. I'm getting lit up all through fucking social media. I fucking knew it, you and self's fucking fake, yada yada yada. Yeah. I make a fucking video and to like take ownership of the situation. But fucking. But that just is what it is, though. Like, Heist did the video yesterday that, oh, StockX sent a fake. Fucking four days ago, round two posted a size four turtle dove that was never even made. You know what I mean? Like, we're in the fu like we're in the fucking atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah. there's shit that goes on and fakes like you know kind of get slipped in and out. But it's like nobody. It's not like you're like, I got this fake. I'm trying to fucking put it on the. Sh no one's gonna know about it. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. there's so much fucking going on. So I wouldn't really sweat it. Fuck all these fucking. The only, people, the only people saying that shit online are just the kids that sit online all day. For, for you to fucking be out here, hopefully, hopefully we have a good fucking crowd, you know what I mean? Nah, I think you will. It's your three year. And we are lost. That's once only. There's only that big sign over there that says Ikea with an arrow. Yeah. Well, you know, it's cool, man. I'm not saying anything. This is... I'm just pointing out the environment. This is maybe that 125. What 125? Why are you always shaking me down for money, dog? God damn. <laughs> because you never paid me for that half What are you talking about? What happened? Yeah, take that Lucky Charms with you. Shit. No, the wait, fuck? You made me buy it. I got the footage. You came into the house, you're like, Bro, Hetty yeah. said we have to, if you ever find this strain, ever, you have to buy as much as you can carry. I was like, all right, bet, let's go. I listened to you. And then, what happened? This is Hetty's Got a car. fucking half tank of gas. That's what happened. I got charged for a full tank, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start trying every blunt we smoke on my weed. It's $5 off my motherfucking balance, too. 
Because you refuse to buy good weed and smoke all mine. Thanks. Yeah, we're about to smoke this blunt in Ikea. You better no. think. <laughs> oh, no, is that what we're doing? We're about here? to switch it to Ikea, motherfucker. Yeah, what? What do you think we came here for? It's a loud, it's a loud pack challenge. I'm here to promote my new album. It's hot, too. Dude. We got a few things. We got a couple of things to the house. Everyone thinks we're together. <laughs> Not doing Does he have it? Ah, Kenny. Ooh. Arms are sweaty. <gasps> Mom's spaghetti. Table's out of stock. No. Yeah. Are they going to fit in the car? Somehow. What's up? I got my two giant dogs and my oh. baby. That's okay. We'll train them while he's at it. He doesn't yeah, I'm a dog trainer. Are you? Yeah. Cool. Are you helping the people? That's right, son. Out here doing God's work. That's together. Loud Pack Town is about to happen in this parking lot. Oh, shit. Before we go get salads. Oh, shit. I'm about to blaze this hottie. <laughs> Every day. Yo, know the, the, you're talking about the Adidas Ultra Boost or whatever, or the Adidas Boost Subwar Boot. Mm hmm You know a lot of people hate the BOA. The BOA click, 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 clicks. They do. Yeah, a lot of people say you gotta go OG traditional. Laces. See, meanwhile, I wanted the clicks. Yo, what's up? You see cops out here arresting people? For real? Uh, yeah. All right, Eric, you got for the game tonight. You got cheese and you got paint for Chiefs, motherfucker. Chiefs. We're right here right now. Motherfucking Patriots are. Fucking Chief Nation. That's a Chiefs fan. Is this your creation? No, Abby's. Abby did it. Hey, you think in Denver? How much do you sell? Oh, really? Totally, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna have combos about it too, so that's yeah, cool, man. Fine. We'll, have you, we'll have you on the podcast. Not like that. Yeah. Mm. Think I could eat this whole bag? You don't think I'll get sick? No. 145, son. Oh, shit, that's easy. How about I do 100, you do 45? We'll wash it down with honey. Another comment that said, I feel. I feel sorry for Sager. It's like he lost his best friend. And I said to Sager, and Sager said, <laughs> I did lose him. I lost him to fame. Are you ready for Kith Sport? No, oh, what's Kith Sport? They're, they're dropping, I guess, the look. look when tonight. is the Tokyo store an actual store or a pop up? I don't know anything about this. There's a Tokyo store. The box and then Tokyo at the box and then the box of Tokyo is checked. Mm. It's like six different colored hoodies. Mm, but it's only that. in store in Tokyo. I didn't see it. I'm sure I can get somebody to get one of you all. They probably only come in fucking medium. And the medium is probably like an extra small yeah. dose. This is, this is the disappointment that I deal with. You got challenges. Hey, big guy. What's up? Oh! Oh. New rug. <laughs> yeah. Son. Blue and teal. I thought they were straight up black and teal. Give me this. Oh my! Give it to me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh! oh Jesus! I'm gonna throw Ah, oh, okay. So, today, uh, running around getting ready for this drop. I say that pretty much every Thursday, I feel like, but it is true. Getting ready for the uh, You Are Your Enemy drop, which is a pack. You get four shirts in the pack for $100 plus a print. It'll probably be the snake that is the print. And uh, yeah, limited quantities. And then you can also buy each, you can buy each shirt separately for $30. So Saturday, at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, that's noon in New York, 9 a.m. in L.A. So, you are your enemy, don't be your enemy, and cop a shirt, because when they're gone, they might just be gone. Who knows? Today, running around, getting ready for everything. Cop some shoes, went and grabbed some shoes on the journey. Shoes that I did get today were the Nemesis Tango 17 Plus. Nemesis Tango 17 Plus 360 Agility. So we've uh, looked at these a couple of times. It's a new colorway. Ah, these actually came out a little while ago. They just 
The uh, my homie who got them for me, Aaron, he ordered them from a soccer website that took forever to ship. So they literally just shipped to him. They probably ordered about a month ago. Soccer.com, I believe. So uh, no, no hype there. This is what the shoe looks like. We've looked at all of the other colorways that exist in this shoe, which are, oh, conveniently enough, the black pair, triple black pair, which is pretty glue stained. <laughs> The zebra pair, whoa, whoa. We have the zebra pair, I'm white. And now we have the tropical, the tropical island pair. I like these, these are just very, they're very tropical to me. They remind me of Miami. This is the shoe, pretty easy review. So we have obviously Boost. Tango is a football soccer shoe model. This has been put Boost on, so it could be used for indoor soccer. I don't really know, I don't play soccer or football. Um, basically Ultra Boost Soul with the Nemesis Tango. Upper uh, Continental sole on this. Really like the Aqua hits on the torsion and the Continental. Everyone knows I'm a sucker for stuff like that. It's the little things, you know, little things. Dark navy blue heel cup with also murdered out, but not murdered out because it's not black, but it's blue. Blue Ultra Boost branding, navy blue. The stripes look black. Am I tripping? Is this shoe black? No, it's blue, it's all navy. But the stripes do actually look black. I think, yeah, the stripes are black on it and they're not blue, but the darker contrast stitching is dark blue. And then of course you have the aqua, which makes it pop. This is probably the best colorway out of the three. It just pops. It's got a vibe for sure. Three stripe branding is OD'd on this one because you have three stripes in each agility knit strap. The agility knit on this is nothing like an ultra boost. I mean, don't even pretend to trick yourself into thinking that this is going to feel like an ultra boost. It doesn't. It's still really comfortable, but the upper is like a cast. There is no movement. You can wiggle your toes until the cows come home and you're not going to even see it going on in the shoe. Um, it's kind of a novelty purchase in my opinion, unless you're using it for sport. But uh, for me, I like it. I think they're comfortable to wear. It's not an all day shoe for me. The upper will start to hurt my feet after all day, but I still like them because I'm a collector. So I just get shit. But uh, yeah, they're sick. You have the um, agility, the agility triangle is what I call it. I'm sure it has another name. Uh, insole, this insole is not removable. For these, true to size, I would not play around with sizing down. Personally, not something I would do. Agility knit, again, pretty durable and tough and rough, so you're definitely gonna feel it. Not a lot of flex, not, you know, this is just, these are basically like big rubber bands strapped to your feet with boost on the bottom, so. But uh, yeah, super sick colorway, really glad to get these. I'd like to get all the Tangos as long as they keep it interesting. So far, so good. Uh, reselling these, I don't really know. I know the, the they were kind of limited Limited. like the tango was limited but there hasn't been a lot of hype on it like people are not going crazy over these but they are limited and at first we're only releasing in Europe so I don't know really what's going on with them I don't really care about what's hyped up but I like the tango resales probably not too crazy restocks are probably possible but I really don't know there it is and there you have it
Okay. So the other thing I want to touch on today, because it's been a hot topic the last, I'd say, week, fake shoes. So we have had discussions before about how I feel about fakes, and that's not what this discussion is about. I made it very clear I spent a lot of time, energy, and money in buying authentic pairs of shoes. Not for one second on this whole earth should you think that I'm okay with any scenario where you're rocking a fake shoe. Come from different worlds. If you are okay with fake shoes, knock yourself out. I don't care what you do with your time or money. But that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the influx of, I don't know what the word you would use. It's like pitchforking, but I don't know if that's a real word, but it's this total, everyone on the internet is looking to catch someone slipping. So as many of you know, this week, there have been a few incidents, instances, a few instances where fake shoes have been reported to slip through in different channels, completely different companies. There was one where it looked like, and I'm not confirming or denying anything because I don't know, but it looked like StockX had a fake. Kais vlogged about this yesterday. Who knows if the tag is real or fake? I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just going to talk about it regardless. StockX. Uh, I've seen pairs get through GOAT before. Um, my homie, my, my brother, Urban Necessities this week. Flight Club, I've seen it happen, as well as uh, Round 2. Round 2 had a size 4 turtle dove. So this is what I want to discuss. All these people are reputable. Everyone that I've mentioned are reputable stand-up businesses. None of them are trying to rip you off, and none of them are trying to scam you. None of them. I've met every single person that I'm talking about. I've met someone from that company aside from GOAT. I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt because I've used their service. My point is that you are in an atmosphere and inside shoes, there are more and more people trying to make fakes. There are more and more people trying to pass off fake. That is just continuous. As, as supply is limited and demand is raised, there are scams. It doesn't matter if you're talking about shoes, concert tickets, cars, it doesn't matter. Like supply and demand, scamming. When supply doesn't meet demand, you can go ahead and account for scamming. It happens. If you're in this environment and you're buying shoes, especially if you're buying shoes, you can trust StockX, you can trust Urban Necessities, you can trust GOAT, you can trust all of these, but you also need to know what you're talking about. You need to know what to look for. You need to be educated in what you're buying. There's plenty, 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 plenty of resources online that'll help you learn how to legit check shoes for yourself. And that's one thing that is super important. You have got to learn how to be able to tell the difference between a real and a fake. When I get shoes from GOAT, I still get them legit checked. When I get shoes from StockX, I still get them legit checked. I always look a shoe over no matter what, just to make sure. Not because someone else is ripping me off, but because they may have gotten tricked. Because it happens, because it's human error. There are people that work at these companies and they make mistakes and it does happen. And I'm not saying that it's right, and I'm, but I'm also saying that it's not uh, there's no vengeance in it. It's not vindictive. It's not on per It's not premeditated. No one is putting a fake shoe on the shelf and saying like, oh, we'll get these. Guys. Like, that's not what's happening. Really what's happening is you have a lot of scammers trying to send things in to consign, trying to send things in that they know are fake or they know are used and just trying to see if it can slip through. And then they run to social media and tweet about how, ha ha, I tricked you, blah, blah, blah. So like, and then when something does happen, you have one big certain group of people, and a lot of them are resellers, who will just pile on and try to destroy these businesses because they have they got caught with one fake shoe coming through and it just slipped through. Not an excuse, but shit does happen. And anyone that thinks that anything, anything in this world is 100%, foolproof you're lying to yourself it's not possible these are human beings that are looking at the shoes like unless the shoe comes straight from adidas you need to legit check it and fuck even if it comes from adidas you need to make sure you got a left and a right shoe shit happens you know what i'm saying at the point one percentage of shoes that get through are fake. Yes, that sucks. It's awful. And I'm sure that these companies do every, I'm actually, I can, I can say I know that these companies do everything they can to legit check and make sure everything is on the up and up. The major difference between buying a shoe from any of these companies that I've named is that if they do happen to send you a fake shoe or a dirty shoe or whatever the case is, I know personally if StockX makes a mistake, they're gonna apologize. I know personally that JC, as soon as found out that something slipped through the cracks while he was out of the country, uh, apologized. The 
pile on that happens on the internet and these people who are like these are real people you're talking to like when you talk shit to me or you talk shit to other people on the internet like these are real human beings you're talking shit to who work their asses off i don't know about you but when i make a mistake having your mistake highlighted all over the internet by a bunch of people who really don't even care about the outcome is fucking stupid. At the end of the day, this is the sneaker community. It is cool that people, uh, when they see something that's off, can call it out. I don't wanna get misunderstood and think that I think no one should say anything when they see a fake. Obviously, say something. Uh, be nice about it. Like, at what point are you trying to inform somebody? At what point are you trying to get shine off of it being exposing? People want to expose, expose people uh, without all the fact and also kind of shine this light that one mistake means that everything they've ever done is Fugazi. The zero tolerance policy, like we're just under like, like, like the George Bush drug regime, you know? It's just like, it's weird. At the end of the day, we're all here looking out for each other. You know, we, a lot of us share reviews and make purchases, even share our lives, all kind of revolving around this sneaker shit. A lot of us show you shoes so you do know how to tell the real from the fake. It does happen, mistakes happen, everyone's human. I make a goddamn mistake almost every day, especially in my vlog. I do all kinds of stuff. So I just wanted to touch on it. I, I know there's a lot of videos going on around right now about fake shoes and there's a lot of uh, social media noise. I call it static. Everyone should learn the ins and outs of the products they want to buy if you're really trying to be about this shit. You know? And then I think everyone should also believe that uh, the companies that I've mentioned have your best interest in mind and if there's ever a problem, that they would fix it. Yeah, everyone's still legit in my eyes because I know I'm gonna get the question, uh, what do you think about this, what do you think about that? What I think is, is that we're all human, mistakes happen, a little bit of forgiveness is needed when someone is uh, legitimately not trying to rip you off, even though something has happened that is not legitimate, if that makes sense. Me personally, me personally, I feel, I'd feel a lot better buying, a, if I ended up with a fake shoe, I'd much rather have someone like that on my side than any of these other places. All right, peace, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.